Yo, shout out to my homeboy Gamma Ray. Three times ten to the power of eight up in this joint. MC Hawkins here. Started with a tube, now we're here. Got a discharge tube, now the X-rays here. Started with a tube, now we're here. Got a discharge tube, now the X-rays here. X-rays discovered by Rontgen. In 1895, working at cathode rays. Earlier some others researched it. Johann Hitterf, the co-inventor of the Prux tube. He first noticed the effects of it but did not investigate how silly was he. Next was Pulluy. He found that sealed photographic plates became dark when exposed and started with a tube. Now we're here. Got a discharge tube. Now the X-rays here. Started with a tube. Now we're here. Got a discharge tube. Now the X-rays here. Started with a tube. Now we're here. Got a discharge tube. Now the X-rays here. Started with a tube. Now we're here. Got a discharge tube, now the X-rays here. In 1887, Nikola Tesla began investigating X-rays with his custom tubes, made a single electrode X-ray tube, and worked with the Tesla coil. It used the bram strahlen process, and by 1892 Tesla had done many experiments. His vacuum high field emissions alerted scientists to the hazards of X-ray exposure. Started with a tube, now we're here. Got a discharge tube, now the X-ray X-rays here started with a tube, now we're here. Got a discharge tube, now the X-rays here. Brunton had ray voltage and vacuum pumps, really low pressure and the tube went dark. He wanted to do some explaining why the fluorescent plate was glowing. He put his hand between the tube. He saw an image of his hand. X-rays emitted that would pass through him and his wife soft issues, but not the bone. Shout out to my boy Wilhelm Röntgen, wrecking the electromagnetic kettle. Einstein cannot fuck with us. <laughs>